Okay, artists, welcome back. We are going to be doing a cardboard abstract shape sculpture um, based on the work of Alexander Calder. So some of you second graders um, that may be doing this project, you will remember that we did a mobile project with Alexander, Alexander Calder's work. It just, just totally disappeared on me. That's okay. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is get a bunch of pieces of cardboard that can be a little beat up like some of these are. They uh, don't need to be too big unless you want to make a really giant sculpture. Um, so these pieces are about the size of my hand or a little bit smaller. You can get, uh, I would say at least seven or eight of them. Um, just gather them up. You can use pieces of card, like a cardboard box and cut it up if you want to or just get some different pieces. And they do need to be cardboard because those will be more structurally sound. Here are the uh, sculptures by Alexander Calder that are standing sculptures. And as you can see, I'm just gonna, let's see, which one should we look at closely? Maybe this one. Um, when you look at it closely, you can see that it's a bunch of shapes that are kind of touching or coming in and out of each other. So that's what we're going to be Water looking for with ours. Yeah. Um, we're going to actually make some different shapes and we're going to find some ways to have them intersect with each other. So the first thing that you're going to do is take your pieces of cardboard and we're going to turn them into some shapes. So you want to get um, pieces, those pieces of cardboard, kind of set them aside and get a pencil so you can start to make some shapes. But Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to start to make some shapes on your cardboard. So there's a really nice shape that Greta just made. It's kind of a long, skinny shape. And then she made another shape. You don't, you can make some shapes like that if you want to. Okay, we don't need to color them in though. We're going to... Okay, so here's our first shape and we cut it out. And now um, Greta's going to make another shape. You want to draw another shape, G? Okay, she's, she's making a long, skinny shape this time, and as soon as she's finished with that, we will cut that one out too. Awesome! So here are two of our shapes. Um, we're probably gonna keep going, make a few more, and then we will show you what to do with that after we've got six or seven shapes ready to go. So here are our shapes, and Greta made a lot of organic shapes, which means that they're um, not specific, so they're not squares or rectangles or triangles, but that's okay. So you, I mean, you could make some specific shapes if you wanted to, or you could make a whole bunch of organic shapes like this. The next thing that you're gonna do is create a few little slots in them. Um, I'm gonna just show you what I mean by that on this one by drawing it. Um, this would be a slot. Draw a short line. Make sure it doesn't go all the way across. It's just going to come into the shape a little bit. And you could have put a few of them on each one. So draw a few of these little lines on each one of your shapes. I would say three or four of those. Just draw a short little line. That's going to be where you're going to cut. But we're not going to cut yet. We're just going to figure out where we want them to go on our shapes. Okay, so we've drawn our little lines. And now um, each of the places that we've drawn, we're going to make a little cut inside of those lines. So you, like I said before, you don't want to go beyond that too much, especially if you have a very skinny one like this one that Greta just finished. Um, if you have a really skinny one, you don't want to cut too far in because it will make that harder to attach. So we're all finished with um, making our lines and cutting them. So now we're doing um, the connecting. I'm done. Okay, bye. Um, so we're going to take the shapes where we t put, take created those little slots and we're actually pushing them together and you can do that any way you want to so we've done this first one it's hard for me to do this with one hand um, and then you can keep finding other ones that you want to attach to different places and you want to push them in the entire way so that they're really secure if you just push them in halfway they're not as secure and it's almost like creating a puzzle so you can find new places that you want to put them and arrange them in different ways however you want to do it so I'm going to do a few more of those and just show you how it looks. And of course, as you can see, I like I've also just to create this um, as kind of a stand for everything. I've 
folded it a little, bent it, which is totally fine. You can do anything that you want to with the shapes. So here is our sculpture. Greta's super excited about it, so I can't really take it out of her hands right now. But as you can see, it has um, potential to even look like something else. So she thinks it looks like an airplane, uh, maybe. But um, you can add as many oh. more shapes like that as you want to. It's pretty fun. Um, and then the next step of it is going to be to use um, color on it. So that part is going to be the next step. So this is the first part of this project that would be need you need to finish by the end of this first week. Okay, everyone, enjoy. Bye bye.